In New Jersey, it's a case of livestock on the loose. More than half a dozen sheep were spotted roaming through Patterson and the surrounding area this morning. Authorities say they've all been wrangled, but there are still questions as to how they got out. Eyewitness News reporter Tony Yates is in Patterson this <laughs> afternoon shaking her head, and we understand why, Tony. I yeah, you know, Charlene, uh, first of all, at this point, they don't care where they came from, and uh, they are no longer considered livestock because Mike uh, from the Skylands Animal Sanctuary, you'll hear from him in my story, uh, he says that if those sheep did not escape this morning, they would be dead by now as we speak. But for some reason, those sheep got up this morning and said, not today. It's okay. Oh, Sheep are naturally skittish, but it's no wonder these guys are so much more so. The tags on their ears, the red spray paint on their backs, they were marked for slaughter. These guys, I hate to say it, you know, no time have they gotten on a trailer has their life gotten better. You know, it's gotten scarier and scarier. Six sheep made a brazen escape early this morning, spotted wandering around River Street at 5 this morning. There was three together. There was one trying to get into Dunkin' Donuts in, in Patterson, and the other one was trying to buy a mattress, a Steely mattress. You got the Patterson Police Department did a phenomenal job. We took two of the uh, sheeps and ended up putting them back in the police car. We escorted them up here with the lights and siren on. And when John gets them, they live. It's a great feeling knowing that uh, it's not going to be on someone's plate. I think wearing this coat, a couple of them gave me a double take, like maybe they knew these folks might just be okay. Come on, sweetie, you're going to a good place. Come on, come on, come on, come on. They'll be quarantined. Um, the vet will come and check them, and he'll give them the okay and whatever they need, any vaccines, any anything. And then they'll join our 43 other sheep with their own nice big barn. Honestly, I did not plan to wear this coat today, <laughs> but it seemed to work out uh, for this story. Uh, Skyland Sanctuary up in Wantage, 600 acres. Like Mike said, they're going to have a barn of their own after the quarantine, and they make sure that they are all okay.